Good morning, YouTubers. T Square T Square Talk. So, have I got a enjoyable video? I think today to talk about. Um, but before I do, I want to take a quick minute to just say, uh, not only a disclaimer, but a kind of make myself feel a little bit better. Um, I guess you could say um, these videos are not designed to influence you to buy silver, buy gold, buy Bitcoin, or sell any of the above either, whether that be selling off your Bitcoin, your gold, your cryptos, whatever the case may be. They're simply, hopefully, another avenue. I'm sure if you're listening to my channel, there are probably other channels that you listen to. And anybody that cares enough about their investments and their money should be hearing multiple points of view and then making their own decision. Uh, I only say that because I had had a comment yesterday um, basically stating that, you know, I, I'm kind of doing a disservice in a way um, by trying to influence you to go one way or the other. That's not what I'm trying to do. Um, and then, you know, give you guys my opinion what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So with that being said, please, if you would, take a quick minute, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, hopefully you enjoy the videos. If you're here watching them, then you probably enjoy them a certain amount. And therefore, hopefully you take a minute to hit that thumbs up. So with that being said, I got to say, first of all, I woke up this morning um, a little bit in a tizzy. Dogecoin, you guys know I sold my position on Dogecoin a little while back. And to my surprise, when I woke up, it was up 10% in the last 24 hours. And obviously, that got my day started off in a not too positive direction, I guess you could say. And then I jumped over to gold and looked at the price of gold and it was up like six bucks. And I was like, man, it just keeps inching up a little at a time. Jumped over to silver up about 20 cents, neither of which were a big crazy move. Um, I thought about it for a little while. I did my morning workout and I'm trying to get back into shape and did my morning workout. And then I said, you know what? I'm going to pull the trigger. I'm going to buy. And I actually bought some gold. Um, I ended up picking up some gold. And I had been kind of watching a few items that I really wanted to try to get. Trying to negotiate a deal. Um, not going to get the prices I want. Obviously, as prices keep going up, it gets harder and harder to get the items that I want. Um, and so I said, you know what? Silver, the premiums have just gone up too much. So I couldn't pull the trigger. And gold, I said, you know what? There's still an opportunity with gold where the premiums are not bad. The spot price has gone up. Um, spot price um, jumped right after I bought it. We saw another big jump. Um, not a huge jump, but I mean, another 30, 40 bucks. That's, that's a pretty big jump on an ounce of gold. Um, so I felt good that I did pick up a little gold. I couldn't wait much longer um, only because... I did trade off one of my uh, one ounce coins to someone um, that I needed something from him. And I said, I'll tell you what, I'll sell you the coin. You give me the money back that I paid. Plus, you trade that service for me and uh, we'll call it good. Did I make any money? No, I didn't make no money. But I did end up um, getting my money back for the coin. Um, and on top of that, I ended up getting something extra that I needed. Um, so I wanted to hurry up and kind of replace that, but I was hoping to replace it on the dip and we never saw the dip come, unfortunately. Um, so I had to pull the trigger. I pulled the trigger. I picked up two one ounces and I think I pulled up, uh, I made a deal, um, with someone on five or six one tenth ounce, um, all of which are semi collectible, I guess you could say. Um, I do kind of like collectible stuff. Stuff like this is an example of semi-collectible. Some people will call it a bullion coin, but with only 9,000 of them or 11,000 of them, to me, it's borderline collectible. Um, it's, it's considered bullion because right now there are pretty much they're all out there up for, up for grabs. Um, but as collectors start grabbing them, um, you're already seeing the price of them go up. 
Uh, when it comes to silver, I couldn't pull the trigger on the silver because the premiums were high. I, I read through the comments later um, in the day, as in like 1 in, 1 in the morning last night. And I was lucky that some people had posted some comments about some deals that they seen online, uh, different promo deals. One person said they saw a 10 ounce bar at spot price, one per household. One person said they seen a five pack of buffaloes at, I think, 99 cents over spot. Someone said one site has them 99 cents over spot, but it was going to end yesterday. And by the time I read the comments, it was already one in the morning. Um, I'm hoping to pick up some more deals over the weekend. We'll see. I'm going to keep my eyes open. Here, Here's the thing, though. From what I understand, Friday, today, it's a holiday. It's Good Friday. Um, and then I guess they, I don't, I don't know, Saturday, nothing's open anyway. So the markets are closed. Sunday's Easter, but the markets are closed anyway for um, the weekend. And then I guess Monday is... Some kind of holiday. I'm not really sure what it is, um, but I know Friday the banks are closed, the stock market should be closed, and therefore uh, I don't see a dip coming. Uh, I'm, I'm a little nervous. Uh, we're probably not going to see the dip, unfortunately, that I was hoping for. I know some uh, members of the channel and subscribers to the channel have written to me or commented to me and stated that, you know, hey, don't, there's a dip coming. This is this is going up too fast. There has to be a dip coming. Um, however, as uh, short positions get cleared out, uh, it makes it less likely that we have to see it. Um, and yes, I understand that if the stock market takes a devastating blow, then obviously it will probably bring gold and silver down to a certain point. However, with that being said... If I was in a position where I don't have that much silver, and what I mean by that much, if you are under 100 ounces of silver, maybe under 200 ounces of silver, um, you may want to consider picking some up, um, but that's up to you. It's not financial advice, just my opinion. If you're sitting on a sizable amount of silver, I mean, you can afford to wait a little bit, but as cash starts building up, as um, my money, my fiat money starts building up, I don't want to be stuck with a bunch of fiat dollars if something was to happen in the system, something crazy, because all it will take is one crazy announcement or one crazy event to really throw the price of precious metals, crypto, or anything to the moon. Now, on top of that, uh, I did put back the $1,000 into my Shiba, only because, like I said, it had had such a big jump, and it looks like it's going to keep going up. I mean, the pattern there, to me, is showing it's going to keep going up. Uh, you're seeing a lot of these um, companies now buying it up as part of ETFs, and as they buy up Bitcoin, that's basically making it to where there's less Bitcoin on the stage for trading, for selling. And that could take the price of it even higher. Now, do I think that's good? Absolutely not. I think the higher the Bitcoin price goes, um, the more risk there is of a lot of it getting dumped all at one time uh, instead of, you know, weak hands getting out and then someone else getting in and so on and so on. Um, some people think that's better. They think it gives it more, I'm yawning, I'm sorry, um, it gives it more stability. Uh, it also puts more control out there to where um, big holders can manipulate. They can sell it when it's up here, uh, sell it when it's up here, and then when it comes back down, buy it back, sell, buy, sell, buy, each time stripping a little bit money out of the stock market, out of basically the Bitcoin market. Um, we'll see how that plays out. I don't know how that's going to play out. Um, generally, March uh, is one of the worst months during election years, along with September. Um, if we didn't see anything really bad happen in March, I think that's a, a good sign that we could see stuff keep going up. Do I want to see stuff go up? Now, here's where it gets a little tricky because... Obviously, I want to acquire as much as I can, as cheap as I can. 
However, where I already have a, a fair amount of gold and silver, then essentially, you know, I'd like to see my other stuff go up in value. Uh, I don't have any big intent of selling any large stakes in my uh, holdings. Uh, will I get rid of a few things here and there? Absolutely. A lot of what I have on the table here, except for this in my hand, I, I trade this off, you know, a coin here, a coin there, whatever, uh, on, on fairly a, a fair basis, regular basis. Um, but my personal stack, I don't plan on uh, dumping anytime soon. I think that when we do see gold continue to climb, I think we're going to see bigger and bigger movements. I mean, look at today. We saw a $35 move on gold um, and a what, 35 cent move on silver. Uh, yeah, that ratio was up basically 100 to 1 on the move. Uh, however, silver is not fully started to take off yet. Um, if gold continues to go higher, I think we could actually break through 23 fairly quickly. And then, you know, then we're going to start chipping away at 24. And I think silver is just going to keep inching up for the time being until one day it just really pops off. And for that reason, uh, I'd like to pick up some more silver, but it's a little harder to pick up the silver when the price is so much higher than we've been stacking at all along. Um, so we'll see how some of this plays out. Right now, I have been paying attention to gold this week um, and pulled the trigger on it yesterday only because the premiums are there for me. I mean, yeah, the spot price is up. That's bummer. But the premiums are not really that high, in my opinion, because companies have picked it up a lot cheaper and they're still making money and so they're willing to let it go. They're willing to cut the premiums down just a little bit um, and still make a good amount of money and then hope for a dip. But that's their point of view. They're hoping for the dip. So we'll see how that plays out. If the dip doesn't come and this bubble continues to move higher um, and inflate even bigger, then phew, things could really get crazy real quick. Am I still hoping for some pullback? Absolutely. Is it a guarantee? Um, it's not a guarantee, especially now. Uh, I want people to think about what happened in 1929. Stuff was just on fire, going up nonstop. People thought there's no way it could come down. And then one day it just did come down. Um, we're not really at the point where stuff is on fire. Silver's not even its all-time high yet. Um, gold, it is its all-time high. Not by a ton, I guess, a um, hundred bucks higher than its all-time high, but it is hitting all-time highs each day. Um, stock market all-time high, Shiba definitely not all-time high, Bitcoin close to but not quite there. Um, so we'll see how stuff's going to play out. I thank everybody for watching. Keep stacking, my friends. Let me know your point of view, what you think's going to happen. You think this is it? We're off to the races now. A lot of us have been waiting for this day. Uh, wishing we'd see silver and gold go up higher, but be careful what you wish for. Here we go. Uh, so let's have some fun with it. Enjoy the profits while they're there, and we'll see what people do. Keep stacking, my friends, and don't forget, hit that thumbs up button. I hope to see you guys again on T-Square Talk. Leave me a comment, and keep stacking, everybody. Have a great one. Bye-bye.